G'day YouTube. Just showing you my Derwent pencil collection. Been collecting pencils for probably 15 years. Not really 15, but I got my first set when I was, when was I 13. And um, yeah, it all started from there. Very first set I ever got was this. Um, the Don't Studio 72 box. This is when Rexel owned Don't. But yeah, it's come in a black box. And there we are there. So that was my first set I ever got. I just thought I'd show you guys some more pencils I collected over the years. But um, this is from the same era. Rexel again, Derwent. But this is the artist, not the studios. So these are actually round. They are beautiful, solid color. The whole pencil is um, really nice having that whole color. And um, yeah, they're round. And I think they're a little bit bigger core. So that's the Rexel Derwent Artist 72. There we go there. Yeah, one of my favourites is this one, Vintage. What makes this one even more special is on the back of it, it's got a, from the factory, they have a defect in the back. They would have had a knot, but if you can see there, instead of throwing the wood away, they actually patched it up cut a bit of another bit of wood to get rid of that knot defect and then yeah so that's a bit of woodworking tip from um, what they do but yeah it was just extra special having that that a bit of um history behind it very unique so that's the Derwent artist Here we have the Derwent. All the ones I collect too are the old logo, not the new one. So I try to collect pretty much all the old school Derwents, vintage sort of, before they change the logo. Here is the 120 set of artists. So this has got three tiers. One there. Another one, three tiers of pencils, 120 of them. It's their largest series, I think they did, 120. But yeah, again, old school logo. Um, what have we got here? Here we have the Colorsoft. These are the Pretty much before Derwent changed their logo, these come out, and there's not many around in this this vintage or this era. But these are the color soft, which were quite new, and then they radically changed the logo. But again, this is a pretty rare box for color soft. Um, here we have. Derwent ink tents. These are awesome pencils. If you're into like vibrant, like tattoo sort of design, these are water soluble. Great pigment. Super good. Oh, it's bloody camera shit. Anyway, um, awesome. Awesome set. What do we got? Now, this is the new logo. I do have the clear, it's like a uh, beach coloured watercolour series with the blue, but I've given them to a friend, but 
I bought these. And these are the new Derwent. I think they're on special. I got this pretty cheap. But yeah, it's um the new logo. And this is the new watercolour. I think they changed it. They changed the formula, I think, in them. So that's watercolour 72 set. So everyone I collect, I try to get the uh, most series, like the the largest sets they come in. And this is this is another great box set. This is the um, pastel pencils that come in 90. So yeah, these are unreal. I haven't really used them at all. I did a few sketches with them, but I think they're three. Yeah, they're three tier. So yeah, I did. As you can see, I've used. I think I did a drawing, Egyptian portrait, and I've used these ones. A lot of people ask me, you know, you collect all these pencils. Why don't you use them? And the answer is I, I try not to use them because I'm collecting them. And if I use them, then there's nothing left. There's no pencil. You're just going to, you know, quarter, like half size pencils, quarter, a bit of this. And it sort of depreciates the value in years to come. So I do have other Derwent sets that I use, but this is just strictly collecting. All right. Now moving on to the vintage. Well, not vintage sort of these are the sets they brought out <clears throat> that weren't in the tin in the bo wooden boxes these come out in tins but there's a union jack Derwent. that's a new logo this is one of the limited edition graphic union jack one then they did a retro edition of the watercolor pencils of the old lakeland that's Pretty much a retro design from the Lakeland series that they did in the 60s. So I've got them. These are another set that I got a while ago and I did use these quite a lot. Bear with me. These are the collection, sketching collection. Really good if you love black and white. But yeah, couldn't resist. Um, I have used it, but then again, I bought, I bought um. Oh, I can't even open it with one hand. There we go. Yeah, so there you go. I've used. These are like all uh, graphite. A lot of graphite. Charcoal pencils, combinations, solid. These things are amazing. I don't know what they are, but I didn't want to break them because they're insane. These are solid graphitone, pure. Yeah. There you go. Graphitone, pure lead, like not lead, graphite. The whole thing's solid. I don't even think you can get them anymore. But there's more solid sticks here. Charcoal. Really cool. I haven't seen anything like it again. But I've got them. And then I've got the... Uh, they didn't release the pastels. They didn't do 72. I think. No, they don't. Bear with me guys, I've only got one, two hands, pastels, they released the pastels only in a 36, but they did the pastel pencils, there we go, pastel blocks, But they also brought out the Intense blocks in the 72, which is cool. Um, okay, back to it. Um, tinted charcoal. These are cool. They're like charcoal pencils. And they come out in a tin, but 
I bought all the wraps. These are really nice canvas wraps. But yeah, I've pretty much bought every series you can get in the tin. And I've got them in these wraps. So I've got, I'm not going to take them all out. Tinted charcoal, aquatone, graphitins, which are really good for seascapes or your aquatic sort of stuff. Um, aquatone are like solid, like pigment, water soluble solid color like pencils, like those lead ones. Um, the metallic, I got the first series ever made. And how you know that is. They have, they're water soluble. They won't come out metallic, but any of the new series don't have that little uh, paintbrush symbol on it. Which is, um, yeah, pretty cool to have the first series of that. Graphics, they're quite like a staple derwent, one of the most commonly used um, derwent pencil you'll see is the graphics. There they are. Really good pencils, but still love them. Um, and the drawing, they're nice. These are like one of my favorite pencils because they're a lot of se se sepia, how you pronounce it. A lot of good organic natural colors, a lot of earthy stuff. So that's really good for doing, if you're a botanist, you like doing a lot of well, landscaping, like landscapes and stuff, a lot of earthy colours, great for that, where you're, if you're into doing seascapes, the the graphitins are really good, I'll show you the colour of them, and these have some beautiful, they may not look much on the end, but when you just start dissolving these, like water soluble, start using water with it, it's amazing the colours you can get, especially with these blues. Really nice. So that's, um, yeah, they're all my wraps. Now I'm starting to get to the good stuff, which is the vintage. I started collecting vintage stuff, but some pretty rare, really rare stuff. But I've got sort of museum quality set. I bought these on Gumtree in Australia. Well, I am from Australia, but I've got these locally and these are mint. They were unopened even. They're absolutely mint. Display quality. Like museum. They were actually sealed on there. You can really see it. This phone is, I apologise for the not having a better phone camera, but these are amazing, and there's not many in this condition ever in the world. I was trying to donate it actually to the Durant Pencil Museum, but I don't know, I never heard back from them, because I just want to donate one of these sets to them, because it deserves to be in a museum, not in my room, locked away. But, yeah, so I've got actually two sets of them. That's why, hence, I was going to donate. I still would like to donate that to Derwent. Um, okay, these are the same error, but as you can see, tarnished, but still pretty good nick. These are the, the colour blocks, but in a 12. That's why you got 20, 12 there. And with these cases, uh, what the case number? Yeah, 20036, which means 36, series 20. The series 20, that's your way of IDing them. And I've got another one, because I started collecting. I couldn't believe it when I first got one on eBay. I was so excited about actually owning one, and I was like, wow. And I think this is the first one I ever got. It's um, still in pretty good. Neg sticks. The color sticks are in good nick, but the box isn't. It's pretty tarnished. But I was lucky enough to find another one in pretty good nick. But then I got those 36s, which are just absolutely flawless. Um, 
And then I started collecting the other series. Like these series are from 1960s. And I believe were the first watercolor pencils ever produced. Um, yeah, this this is again is a it, it's a little bit tarnished, but overall in great condition. I think in good condition anyway. But this is cool. These are layout pencils. They're um these are the layout pencils, which are awesome. They're so beautiful. Mm, the mint, mint condition. I was very fortunate to be able to get hold of one. It, she, the seller actually had two. One was unopened, but she wanted like crazy amount. I think it was like over a hundred dollars just for that set. Um, yeah, here you go. This is the world's first watercolor pencils, apparently. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they are. Um, 1960s, uh, series 2136, but haven't got the whole set, unfortunately, but it's still pretty cool. And yeah, these are the first Derwent um, watercolors that they brought out. Um, yeah, all right. So I've got that. That was that. That's um, yeah, thirty-six. Here we have. I don't know what these are. Um, yeah, these aren't watercolor. These are just the first Derwent coloring in pencils, and they are series eighteen. Yep, series 18. Oh, there you go. oh, these are layouts. Holy hell. Yep, I didn't even know I had this. These are series 18 layout in a 24 set. And the other one there was a 24. No, 12. Yeah. See? Series 18. 12, and this is series 18, 24, which is pretty smicko. All right, now more vintage, 1970s. Um, overall, pretty good condition. I think the pencils are. Um, there we go. There we go. I love it. I love these. Nineteen seventies. And they're all in mint. I paid I think I did pay quite a bit of money for this one because it was just mint. So and I love the smell too. The smell of the, of the vintage era. Each sort of Decade smells different, but yeah, um, more vintage stuff. This is probably the oldest item I have, and it's well and truly over a hundred and ten years old. I think nineteen, yeah, one hundred and twenty years old. I think it's a, a trinket, trainware. Treen Ware Rolling Ruler made by Cumberland Pencil Co. Keswick. And you open it up, it's hollow and it's got like a pencil in there. It's a rolling ruler, I don't know how it rule like who's as a ruler, but anyway, I was quite excited when I got it because it had Ernest Sir Ernest Shackleton's engraving. And I didn't know a lot about it. I just thought if this really is a rolling ruler from Ernest Shackleton, who's a famous explorer in the Arctics, and you know, and it was his, it would be quite valuable. But unfortunately, it's Treenware, which is um, a way of using all their offcuts of timber. 
So in the factory they would use all their offcuts of timber and make boxes, rulers and just little gift ideas. So there we have it. But this was made in 1910. <coughs> Estimated. That's quite, yeah. Pretty old. Um, more train wear is... Let's move this. This. Let me get this. This here is E. Smith. Is it? Yeah, L. E. Smith, yeah. Not sure who that is, but again, Cumberland trainware box. It's missing the, the latch, but pretty cool. It's all cedar. That's what they use. All their pencil case casings are made out of cedar. So all that cedar. Now moving on to... Oh no, I may as well still keep it down. Um, here is inside this box. I was really stoked to get these. I got these with those, um, what do you call it? Colour blocks from that lady in Gumtree. But she also included these. These are really old. These are also 1960s. Um, office supply, Derwent, Thin Lead, Series 17. So yeah, the very first series. And they're mint. Absolutely mint. I've got... What is there in there? Six boxes, I think. Of all different types. Um, I don't want to really damage them. Getting them out, but... Uh, yeah, there you go, there's more underneath. So there's like, I got seven boxes of them, which is pretty freaking cool. King's Own, which is a Cumberland product as well. They make them um, big for the artists, draftsmen, architects. Yeah, they're drafting pencils. So I got a King's Own box. Freaking stoked to get that. Um, also, a Lakeland box, which is pretty in average condition. It's nearly falling apart, but I try not to touch it because. And all my Lakeland stuff, which is another brand from Cumberland, not Derwent. These are Lakeland, and these are yeah, these are like nineteen. 70s, I think. Yeah, 1970s, but um, color sticks. There's them mint. There's, I'm not going to open them. I only got it's hard to do it with camera, phone in your hand. These are empty color sticks. Um, Lakeland little pencils are tiny. Um, what have we got more. These are 1970s when. When they were bought out by Twinlock, Twinlock Company. And before I was saying that um, Rexel owned it, and then Twinlock, I think, took over in the 70s. Rexel took over in the 90s. But um, yeah, and I've got Derwent Colophon, and I've got more Lakeland. Some of these were actually, I've got. An English one, which is this is the English one here, and um, yeah, this is oh, it's not focusing right. That's that retro design I was telling you about with the. Um, I'll get it. I'll find it. Uh, yeah, that's the retro reissue they did in the watercolor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty cool. Um, so there's that's the English one, and now in Australia they did a contract, I think, with the government, and they brought schools. A lot of Australian school children had these Lane Cove, New South Wales. Bit of history with Australia, you know. The, Commonwealth country, 
Um, yeah, so there we have it. Is pretty much all my vintage stuff. I'm not going to put it away, but also got some books. These came in sets that you'd get if you bought something. They'd give you a little book booklet media about using them. Like that's watercolor, and it'll give you a breakdown on how to use it, little projects and stuff. So I was very happy to get that from Derwent. Um, wrote them a letter saying much I love their stuff, and they gave me a brooch, a what do you call it? Catalog. They gave me their catalog along with all. This is the catalog, but yeah, it's pretty cool. So I got that, and they were awesome enough to give me all these colouring. So that's yeah, pretty much three of them and that. So that's um, and this is cool. And I'll start moving on back to Derwent. Oh no, there's four. There's another one hiding away. There's four of them. This is awesome. This is pretty cool. I actually missed out on buying them when they first got released. Lucky enough to find one on um, Gumtree. And i um, super stoked to actually own it. Um, just bear with me. There we go. World War II secret map pencil replica. This is the spy the spy pencils that um, back in World War II, um, the bombers they would they did a collaboration with Derwent and the British Air Force with um, creating a spy pencil which had a secret map concealed in the pencil. Um, hard to open them, magnetized. There we go. Pretty cool. Secret map. So that's pretty much sort of like an exploded view how they've got the pencil intact. Then there's the pencil there that's being pulled apart. It's hollow. It's got a cavity in it. And there's the map. There's the little compass that's hidden in it. And there's the. Yeah. Um, it's pretty awesome. So I was. Pretty stoked. I've actually owned four of these, believe it or not, because another great gum tree find, which I'll show you shortly, is the first ones they ever brought out, which was back in 2000, 18 years ago, they brought out the Borrowdale box. But that's underneath this Bessie. I only got this the other week. And this is Pretty much the last box set I needed to complete the entire Derwent collection of wooden box sets. So this is the Derwent signature, which come out, I don't know when, come out, oh, probably 10, maybe 10 years ago, not sure, but they didn't last long. They, um, they got discontinued really quickly. They're light fast pencils which means the UV light from the sun doesn't affect and fade. So they brought these out and they really are amazing to look at. Just love how they raw finish. The box is amazing. Probably one of the best boxes they ever made because it's all solid. All these other boxes are plywood. It's pretty much, le um, it's not solid, it's just ply. Except for, these are solid. The, this piece here around it, but the, the tops and bottoms are just pretty much look like ply laminate. So this is the signature series. It's 60 that come out, 60 of them. Amazing. Um, I'll just put it away. But, oh, there's a little latch in behind. They pop up. Just don't know. There we go. 
Anyway, that is the signature, and it's all solid. Oh, it's not. I can tell because there's a knot there. And then when you go through on top, there's no knot. It appears to be solid, but maybe not. Yeah, I thought it was. Anyway, I just got them the other week. But they're a beautiful box. Very, yeah, you can see the sides there. And um, really heavy. So, that's that. And here, more vintage is the 72 set. Colour pencils. These are nice. These, um, I just love the history, the smell, the the stories. Like you can just see where it, it's like even being burnt. Don't know what, but um, yeah. See, someone's cared for them. They've even put some reinforcement masking tape to try and hold it back together. But you can just feel and the history and the love that someone had for these. But, uh, what series are they? It'll tell me. Cumberland, made in England. Yeah, series 19. Which are the, f I think the first, series 19 were the first colour pencil to come out. Series 18 were the la uh, layout pencils, which are different shape. But there we have it, and this is all the colours, and they still have all these colours to this day, hasn't changed. Um, okay, I'll wrap this video up, it's getting a bit long. Um, so this is my pride and joy, the Borrowdale collection only 500 ever made what's very really unique about this set is that it's got some pretty cool history and it's almost like a little mini museum so I'll open it up there we go this is what's cool about it it's got um it's got a mechanical clutch pencil. Which is, uh, yeah, it's really cool. You've got the replica spy pencils. So I actually own four of them. I've got two in the other box and then two here. That's the map. And then you get the car. And then you get this is the ultimate pencil. There's really poor lighting, I'm sorry guys, but this is a Derwent. Argentinium silver pencil, only 500 ever in the world. Pretty cool, and you get a little Bardo collection book, and you get a lead like a but Unfortunately, when I opened it, I was showing someone, and I dropped the glass, the glass vial that it come in, rolled off the table, and smashed on the ground, and severely devoured about that. But that is the chunk of graphite that you get in the little container.